Hi guys and welcome back to a new video and before we jump into things um, and before I tell you what it will be, well I'm pretty sure you've seen it from the title, I want to clarify two things. Number one, in my Champions League prediction video, if you haven't seen it already, I would highly advise you to watch it. But um, for the Porto Juventus tie, I predicted in the first leg, Porto 2 Juventus 1. It actually did happen last night, two goals at the start of the first half and second half for Porto. Got it done. I can't believe I've pulled it off. I just felt like one of those games where Porto would pull off a shocker. So Ronaldo will need a big, um, a big <clears throat> comeback in the second half of the leg or in the second half of the tie. <laughs> uh, and also in my team of the season video from yesterday, I forgot to mention a few players like Ilkay Gundogan and um, Phil Foden, and to mention a few Mares probably too. So um, anyway, let's jump in straight to the video where I will be predicting the match week coming up for the Premier League. All 10 games, that's right, all 10 games and how they will finish. So starting off tomorrow night, Friday night football, we'll have Wolverhampton Wanderers hosting Leeds United. Uh, both these teams are sort of up and down this season. Um, <clears throat> Wolves have sort of picked up form there, of course they won last week to Southampton. Leeds United have thrashed teams or have gotten thrashed by other teams. But I don't think this will be high scoring at all. I'm going to say Wolves will scrape a 1-0 victory here at the Molyneux. Probably Ruben Neves scoring the goal. So now moving on to the Saturday games and the uh, half 12 kickoff. We will be seeing Southampton hosting Chelsea. Thomas Tuchel has got a really good start to life in Chelsea. He hasn't apart from the first nil all draw against Wolves. He's won every single game against Burnley, Spurs, Barnsley and now <clears throat> they are up against Southampton. Another easy game that I think they should win 3-1 it should be. I'm going to predict that Timo Werner will get in the score sheet again. Uh, Southampton this would be seven losses in the trot for them in the Premier League if they do not get a win. Of course they are in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup but in the Premier League they're really struggling for form. And now moving on to sorry uh, Burnley versus West Brom, a big six-pointer down, down at the bottom. West Brom, of course, pulled off an amazing one-all draw against Manchester United last week on Valentine's Day. Burnley won 3-0 against Crystal Palace. Last night they did draw with Fulham, but I think this will be an easy 2-0 win for Burnley. Uh, it will be a massive defeat for uh, West Brom, and a, a win here will pretty much guarantee Burnley uh, safety for another season. I probably think Ashley Barnes or Chris Wood We'll get in the score sheet for this one. So one of the games to watch out for this weekend is the Merseyside Derby, Liverpool versus Everton. Liverpool and Everton have been weird teams this season. Liverpool, of course, started off amazingly and now they're starting to slack a bit down. They did beat Leipzig, however. And Everton, they have also been good, but they've lost two in a row to Fulham and Manchester City. They've also drew a few games. But what do I think will happen here? I think despite... Everton probably being in better form than Liverpool currently. I'm going to say Liverpool will scrape a 1-0 victory here at Anfield. I think um, Wijnaldum, if he's playing, will get the goal. If not, Salah probably will get the goal. And the final game on Saturday is Fulham versus Sheffield United. A huge relegation six-pointer. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, I think both these teams are deemed already. But um, I think Fulham could pull something off here. And I think they will go back-to-back -back, back -back wins. And not not back to back wins. Um, <clears throat> they will get seven points out of a possible nine in their past three Premier League games. I'm going to predict they will win two one here. I think Sheffield will take the lead in the first half, but two goals in the final twenty minutes from Fulham will win them the game. Now on the Sunday, and another game to watch is West Ham, who will be welcoming Tottenham to the London Stadium. West Ham are currently in the hunt for Champions League football. Tottenham are really doing bad. Uh, they play tonight against Wolfsburger in the Europa League. Um, so what do I think will happen here? Um, if I can get pull off the Porto Juventus one, I think I can pull this one off here too. I'm going to say West Ham United will beat Tottenham Hotspurs 2-1. Of course, last time they drew 3-3, coming from 3-0 down for the Lanzini uh, screamer to get a point. I think this time the Hammers will win. And now Aston Villa will be playing Leicester. Most people would say Leicester would win here at so Villa Park, by the way. Um, Leicester are playing the Europa League against Slavia Praha tonight. I think they'll be a bit tired. I, I think it'll be a one-all draw here. I think last time, uh, which was at King Power Stadium, it was a 3-0 win for Villa. This time, I think 
it will be a one all draw. Ollie Watkins up on the scoring for Tiedemans or Vardy. Uh, they get the equaliser. And then another game to watch out for is Arsenal versus Manchester City. I think we all know where this is going to. Arsenal play tonight again in the Europa League, this time against Benfica. Um, <clears throat> Man City played last night to beat Everton, of course. Um, Man City, of course, will probably be a bit more rested. And I think they will absolutely dominate Arsenal at the end. Which I th I'm going to say a 3 0 in here for Manchester City. Foden probably scoring, Gundogan maybe, and even um, <clears throat> if he plays De Bruyne or Jesus, even Mares. And now moving on to Manchester United, and they play in the Europa League tonight against Sociedad, but that's not the game we're focusing on. We're focusing on their game at home to Newcastle United on Sunday. Um, Man United could be a bit um, <clears throat> knackered after the Sociedad the trip to Turin, uh, but I think we can get a win. We should be able to win. Newcastle really struggling with Steve Bruce. I'm going to say Man United win here 3-1 against Newcastle. Rashford hopefully will get a goal because he's really been... <clears throat> Not been too great lately. I think Fernandez can also score. And final game, which is on Monday, will be a derby somehow. Brighton versus Palace. Don't ask me how it's a derby. Um, <clears throat> I just saw it was a derby one day. Um, I guess it is. So Brighton Palace. Brighton are definitely in the better form than Crystal Palace. Palace, um, of course, lost three 0 last week to Pal to Palace to Burnley. Sorry, and um, <clears throat> but what do I think will happen here? I think this will be a one all draw at the Amex. I think Palace will save it right at the end. Brighton almost getting the three points, but Palace will get a point. I feel like I'm saying Palace a lot today. Uh, anyway, that's the end of the video. Tune in tomorrow again, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already.